Hi. It is Sunday, June the 21st, so a happy Father's Day to you all. I had not intended to do a COVID-19 video this week uh, because I just thought we probably need to let a little bit of time pass to see how things are going, but enough has changed in the last week that I wanted to take uh, just a few minutes to give you a quick update on where things stand today. Unfortunately, there's not a great deal of good news. I'll go ahead and give you the little bit of good news that there is on the front end, and that is that for those of us who live here in Baldwin County, the numbers uh, continue to be very stable. In a county of more than 200,000 people, we're seeing uh, less than 50 new cases uh, this week, so that's, that is encouraging. Outside of right here, uh, the news is not very good. Uh, the the n total numbers for the United States as well as the total numbers uh, for the world are significantly up this past week. Uh, the world numbers in terms of daily new cases has increased from about 125,000 new cases per day as of a week ago to about 150,000 new cases per day. That's a 20% increase in the United States. The, the daily increase has gone from about 22,000 cases a day to about 27,000 cases a day. And just to put those numbers into perspective for you, because it's so easy to get lost throwing all those numbers around, it's just this simple. That kind of increase, that's not the, the type of increase that just additional testing would show us. And in fact, the global numbers of deaths are up considerably right now. Those are up about 18% for the past week, which is a real indicator. We're just seeing this disease really take off again right now. The kind of increase that we've seen over the past week is so significant that if we continued to watch that type of increase unfold for the next three and a half weeks, the total number of cases that we've seen over the last six months, the total number of deaths, we're talking about nine million cases in the world, nearly half a million deaths, we would double those numbers in the next three and a half to four weeks if we continue to see last week's trend moving forward over the next three and a half or four weeks. So all of that just means this is growing at a very significant rate. And for those of us who live in the deep south, it is very much happening here. Most of the greatest growth in the world is happening in the Americas, both North, South, and Central America. But in the deep south is where the numbers are really alarming. Florida is looking like some of the experts are saying it may be the next biggest hot spot in the whole country, similar to what New York went through in recent months. And Alabama, relatively speaking, is at a really bad place right now. You, you may just look at the raw numbers and say, well, Alabama on a given day may have had 800 new cases, but look at California out there. They had 3,200 cases, but you have to look at those things relatively. They may have had four times as many cases as Alabama in a given day, but they have eight times the population, which means we're growing at twice the rate of California. So it's really the deep south. It's Alabama, Georgia, Florida, South Carolina, Louisiana, Tennessee, in, in just every direction that you look, the, the disease is growing rapidly here in the deep south. Heat is not holding this thing back significantly. So all of that to say this, you cannot base your behavior right now on what you see people around you doing. You cannot base it on what politicians are telling you. Uh, we're hearing leadership all the way at the top make it clear that they're going to do their best to dumb down the news about the spread of this disease. Whatever you're doing as your plan to combat this, you can't give in to exhaustion right now. Masking, social distancing, avoiding places where you're going to have to sit in a room with lots of other people for an extended period of time. Avoiding those kinds of things, you may feel like, I'm sick of this. We're going to have to adopt a mindset that says, when it flares up, we really are careful to guard against these things. And adopt a mindset that says, I can do this for, for six to nine months. We won't be doing this for five years, but we can get through this if we'll take a mindset that says, what could I do for six to nine months to keep myself safe? If we work together, we can follow the example of so many other countries like Germany, Italy, France, South Korea, so many other places where they're getting this thing under control, but we're going to have to work together. Pray. Pray for God to break this thing. Pray like it's completely up to God, but make sure that we do our part. Don't give in to exhaustion right now. This is a critical time for us. I'm Mark Price reminding you to stay in touch, to stay safe, and always remember that you're loved.